And my wife and I wish you all Konghei Fat Choi, and we hope you'll have a very, very um, happy new year in the circumstances. I'm talking to you from my uh, study in my house in London. You can see I'm keeping uh, busy here. But I just wanted at this particular time um, to offer you some awesome, some of my best wishes and my wife's best wishes. Uh, in the last um, couple of weeks, I've met entirely by accident a couple of families who are now living in England in exile from Hong Kong. They were both uh, born uh, in Hong Kong. Um, their parents in both cases had fled um, the mainland um, to Hong Kong to find a safe haven from some of the brutalities of modern Chinese communist history. Uh, and they'd loved Hong Kong, they still love Hong Kong. They'd loved living in a free city, a free society under the rule of law, and were to become deeply depressed at the way in which a vengeful uh, communist uh, party in Beijing had set about dismantling the freedoms of Hong Kong, and in the way they were helped in that work by a, a sort of quizzling administration in in uh, Hong Kong uh, and by fellow travelers in the United Front, uh, part of what uh, a distinguished Hong Kong journalist himself now in exile called the White Terror. Um, they hadn't wanted to leave uh, Hong Kong, but they've been driven out of Hong Kong by um, the unpleasantness, uh, which is uh, the package offered by Beijing. Now, I very much hope that um, they'll have a happy life here and all the other exiles will have happy lives with the way they've gone. They'll certainly be a great, they'll certainly make a great contribution um, to life in, in England. We're really lucky to have so many wonderful people from Hong Kong with us. But I know they want, and all of us want, to see a day before too long when people will once again feel happy in Hong Kong, will be able to see the freedoms which they were promised restored, will be able to see Hong Kong released from the handcuffs in which it pres it's presently held. Um, so I, I hope things will go right for Hong Kong, that they won't go too badly wrong uh, in, the, in the short term, that exiles will and enjoy for the time being new lives uh, outside, and that before too long, uh, we can see Hong Kong restored as a great free city, a beacon of liberty under the rule of law uh, for the rest of uh, Asia and the rest of mankind. So with that hope, I'm looking to the new year and that it will bring better times for Hong Kong and better times for those who have sadly left Hong Kong, a city which they love as much as I love, more than I love, but a city which is, alas, in the hands at the moment of, to be blunt, people who are doing bad things.